I want to welcome you guys back to a rather windy day here in western Oklahoma. Today we're in the grit and gravel greenhouse and we're trying to solve a problem that we've been having with uh, nitrate levels in our uh, aquaponic system. So since we stocked the fish in a couple of weeks ago, we've been monitoring the water and we just kept seeing uh, our nitrite levels just uh, increase uh, day after day after day. And we decided to go ahead and pull all the fish out of the system. We've got them in a holding tank right now until we can try and get this nitrite spike under control uh, so that we don't uh, kill all of our fish. So what I'm gonna do right now is take a quick sample of the nitrite levels in the system and then I'm gonna show you guys uh, what we're doing to try to correct this problem. So the test kit here, real simple test kits from API. Uh, you can just or get it at Walmart or wherever, uh, aquarium stores, um, Amazon. It says five liters of water, five milliliters of water to five drops of the solution. And what'll happen is if the uh, nitrites are high, then the water's gonna turn uh, a dark purple. And if they're low uh, within range, they're gonna, the, the water's gonna stay a real light blue. So let me uh, do this test real quick. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when you have high nitrites. The reason I'm testing for nitrites instead of ammonia is if your uh, pH in your system is within tolerances, uh, say between six and seven, uh, the ammonia is not gonna be uh, that deadly to the fish, I mean, which means it's gonna be in the form of ammonia more than it's gonna be straight ammonia. So as long as you have, you know, your, your, your pH is under seven, the ammonia levels are uh, really not concerned about. It's the nitrite levels that uh, you really have to be concerned with as far as your fish goes. So I'll show you guys real quick just how high our nitrites are. Now this is gonna turn the water purple just immediately. As you can see, uh, that is not good as far as the levels of the nitrites. So I'm going to add this solution to the water, try and uh, bring these levels down. And I'll show you that guys whenever uh, we return. Okay guys, so this is the product that I'm using to uh, try and correct my nitrite problem. And it's a product from uh, Sea Chem. It's called Prime. And what it does is it detoxifies ammonia and nitrite and your nitrates out of your water. So what I did is just add a little bit to uh, a little jar of water here. And we're gonna do that same exact uh, nitrite test that we just did where the water turned purple immediately. And we're gonna see how well this stuff actually removes the nitrites from the water. So I just got my five milliliters of the water with the with the prime in it. Put five drops of the nitrite solution. And as you can see guys, the water is very light blue, which on your test kit, you get a color chart that shows you your parts per million. And if I can get it up here, so the lighter the color, the better on your nitrites. Now you can see I just added just a little bit of this uh, prime from Sea Chem into my water and it has completely knocked out 
my nitrites, making my system now is going to be safe for my fish to return to. So we're going to go ahead and treat the entire system with this stuff, give it about three or four hours to completely clear out these nitrites, and we'll get the fish back in the system this afternoon. So this is part of uh, dealing with aquaponics or working with aquaponics. It's good to know uh, what products is safe to use and what you can and can't use in these systems. And anything that I'm using uh, to add to my system to correct any kind of problems, I'll be sure and uh, make a video of it and show you guys exactly how I'm maintaining this aquaponic system and making it very safe for the fish and productive for our for our plant so i want to thank you guys for watching the video today and we'll see you next time